With the 11th pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Devin Vassell from Florida State University. The second Seminole of the night going off the board. Devin. Not a little bit possible Florida State. Off the inbounds, the alley-oop, and that was dribbling. A turnover and a break. Nice pass, and Vassell with a finish. That was a terrific pass. Eleventh Panthers turnover gives it back to Florida State. Jump stop and a finish for Vassell. Vassell backed out. Murphy deep in a stance. A three over top wow. and it's good. The baseline floater count it for Devin Vassell. Settler, nothing tough to guard in that possession and an empty. One. So different from what they. Open the game with crisp passing, great ball movement, hard cuts. Vassell hangs and scores with tied. What do you think of the Seminoles' feast or famine start? Five field goals and six tries, but also five turnovers. Well, I think a lot of that has to do with the defense with Clemson. What they're doing is they're limiting and always having one foot in the paint. Not allowing Florida State to have a full cool shot to the rim. Clock winding down, and Devin Vassell hits the tough step. Don't rest on your laurels, because Florida State is just as good as Duke, but like Katie said, very different personnel. Walker on Thunderbird. Vassell a three. That's a good sign for Florida State. Florida State's had a turnover issue here in the last few minutes, and now Vassell picks Johnson. He'll try and beat Helms to the rack, and one. Sit much. Bryce Daniels launching. Kept alive and recovered by Osborne. Well, Malik Osborne. It's not your traditional five, and there's the sale in one. He has seven in the ballgame. A man defense presented for Florida State. Markel Johnson, those eyes get big and goes right to the rim. Yep. Under 10 to go now. Two point lead for the number eight, seven old. The sale of three. Got it from the left corner to go on runs because they defend for 40 minutes. Tasha Stanley had it blocked by Vassell who runs the floor. One on one with Jones. Devin Vassell showing his tech. Known as a defender and he's an excellent one. Duke pushing forward to stay further out on the floor. Vassell, they need it. They get it. Some room from the free throw line. He has 10. He averages just under 16 per game. So much more confident as an offensive player with those long arms. Has proven to be a really good mid range shooter. Devin Forrest was able to shed Baker with the fake. He knew it was short. He went after it and got it. Dumps it off for Osborne, who had trouble gathering it in. The sell for the time. Wow. That's a big fight. The fact that he's committed 20 turnovers. Florida State's big problem beyond the arc. Three for 17 from three. That's under 18%. A horn set for Florida State. Pretty well defended by Duke. And a nice floater in trap. Rotating pieces is another thing that stands out to me and how locked in this team is. Stone tried to save it. But right back over, Vassell is close for two. Healing. Assertive. Off the mark that time. Another rebound for Raekwon Gray. Devin Vassell. Raekwon Gray. North Carolina has missed its last call from the floor. And Anthony and I draw turnover. And the Seminoles they just don't have the guys who can fill it up from behind the arc. Pressure, the cell, and travel, and instead it's a dunk. Anders Nolly and being that guy, as of late, it's got to be somebody else for them to be able to beat this team today. Someone else has to stand up. What looks so far could possibly be Radford. You see, that's Cone with the three ball. That's a welcome sight for Mike Young for the last game against Miami. Cone only shooting two shots. 
Before that, he was a guy with a shot in the arm, over, averaging almost 13 points in his last five. Jalen Cohn, the freshman from Walkertown, North Carolina. The first three of the game for the host of his time on the floor for Florida State. No, Couture, he checked. That was, a, that was a heat check. If I was Couture, I was trying to get by Copra Vita to the basket because he's athletic enough to get there. Vassell steps into a three. Florida State, they're going to keep bringing guys in at you. They're going to keep rotating guys in and out. And can you sustain the energy that they are for the entire 40 minutes? Knowles have led by as many as nine in this first half. Vassell lets it fly and hits another three. Already got 14 with less than four minutes left to go in the first half. The four made threes for Vassell ties a career high for threes in a game. He is perfect from the floor. Polite cut off by the defending of Couture. Vassell. But again, Nolly not being able to come up and find them, find the rim today. Nolly's 0 for 3 from 3. Vassell. In your defense. The guy like Trent Forrest, he's going to take his time and run this clock down. Pokey's just one of their last seven shot attempts in the comeback bid. And that just won't get it done. A minute and change to go in regulation. Vassell steps right into it. Wow. Cast for a while. Seminoles, here's their starting five. Devin Vassell and MJ Walker, the leaders there. Malik Osborne, the transfer from Rice. And Trent Forrest, who has the ball now. Doing a little bit of everything for the Seminoles. First shot on the way, and it's a three ball from Vassell. <laughs> Billis can take a joke. As soon I'm just, as I'm just annoyed I had the rebound. I mean, what is a rebounding vest anyway? It's really a shooting vest. Because right? that's a, I call everything, whatever I'm wearing is my shooting shirt, my shooting vest, because I don't really do it. I think you also take into consideration the guy did just miss some time with an ankle, you know? <laughs> and Vassell gets into the open floor, and Seminoles at the time. Pressure handled beautifully by the Cavaliers. The key misses the layup, and Osborne has it. Now Trent Forrest on the push for the Knowles. And that's by design. When you do that, you bring a double team high, you force them into playing offense early. Vassell hesitated and still made it. Look at Frankie Crick. He had for the play. Tied at 44, ninth tie of the game. Right, you think about Kihei Clark, and he reminds me a lot of Trey Jones, trying to go from that transition of, you have guys on your team who can score, so you go from facilitator to primary guy, and that pressure and that dichotomy of, do I score or do I pass? He's talking to Tony Bennett before the game, he said it's all cool. And you become a shot blocker, apparently. <laughs> and Clark throws it away, steal by force, great pass ahead, and away from the south, Walker with a great look.